Hi, Terry Knight. Hey, Mark Taylor. How are you? We have dealing with technology issues here. Hopefully everything goes okay. Oh, shoot. I lost you already, didn't I? It's, yeah. Can you, hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, okay. All right. All right. You want to try it again? Yep, let's try this again. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's let's dish, Terry. We've been oh, having let's... all kinds of technology <laughs> issues. I think it's a full moon. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's that weird thing called CERN, C-E-R-N. I don't know. I don't know what I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so let's dish. Yes. We got two weeks to cover. So Quinn and Bridget, uh, catch Eric since we last talked, all this happened. Quinn and Bridget catch Eric and Don in bed at the athletic uh, club here in the last week. Pickleball? Anyone? <laughs> you know, I keep forgetting to look up what pickleball actually is. Oh, I play it. It's a fun sport. Actually, it's for old guys like me. <laughs> Except that's sure. not pick. That's not the pickleball that I. <laughs> okay. With him and Donna. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, all right. Yeah, I kind of walked into that one. <laughs> yeah, you kind of did. <laughs> all right. So Eric ends up telling Quinn uh, next that he, uh, after all this, they get caught. Um, yeah. And Bridget, they, the look on Bridget's face was funny, actually, by the way, as a side note. Yeah, it was. When she it walked in. Like, what? Big eyes. <laughs> so, um, anyway, after all that, Quinn and Eric end up having a heart-to-heart. -heart, and Eric ends up telling Quinn that he knows that she still loves Carter. Tells her that she should race race to the church to stop Carter and Paris's wedding because it's going on as we speak. Now, we do have to note that he also let Donna know that he wanted to be with her before they got caught. That's true. So, just And he actually was going to tell her. And I think he yes. would have. But he got caught before he had the chance. <laughs> Which he kind of deserved. He kind of did. I agree with that. Yeah, he did. All right, so this the next part is funny, Terry. So my brother-in-law and sister-in-law were here from Arizona visiting. Uh -huh. So I actually got him hooked on the Bold and the Beautiful as a side note. Because <laughs> he, I made him watch it every day. <laughs> By the end of the week, he knew all the characters and everything, so that was fun. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. I said, now watch, you're going to go home. And I said, now when you get back to Arizona, he lives in Chandler, which is a suburb of Phoenix. I said, uh, you've got to now listen to the new Soap Did to listen to my podcast with me and Terry Knight. <laughs> Yay! Yay! So we might have picked up a listener. <laughs> right. Uh, funny. We'll be famous with whatever. Anyway, yeah. go on. Anyway, so as the the reason I told you all that is because he got such a kick out of that. The next thing we're going to talk about that is Quinn's long, long, long ride to the to the church to to get yes. to uh, Carter's wedding. <laughs> that was pretty impressive. She yeah. almost met, ran over like three people, and uh, it was quite the yes. dodging experience. Did she wipe out once too? Uh, yes, I, I believe she did. She did. And she got yep, just jumped back on that horse. <laughs> she was damn uh, bound and determined to get there. <laughs> yes. So she arrives, Terry, just in time, and interrupts the wedding. And she, mm -hmm. the next scene is funny as hell. I think she ends up telling everybody in attendance, including Carter. Uh, how she feels about him being Carter. And yeah. my brother-in-law laughed, and him and I watching it, and he goes, well, what? And I said, I know exactly what you're going to say. Why wouldn't she say you and I need to step out and talk? Yes. Instead of blurting out how much she loves him and all this and that in front of everyone at the church. That was funny. Yeah, but where's the drama in that? Uh, good point, you know, Terry. I mean, come on. That's and besides point. that, that allowed... Uh, Paris to stand there just like, well, I don't know. I She was, she's just not that great of an actress. 
Yeah, I'm with you. Oh. And Sunday, as we've discussed, because he's had a bigger role again lately, too. He's worse. Yeah. He's a yep. weak actor. Yes. He's we'll no Barney that. Rubble, Terry. <laughs> <sighs> That's all I've got to say about it. Wow. All I, always right. come up with, I always come up with the Barney Rubble one. <laughs> all right. So, anyway, Carter mm -hmm. uh, leaves Paris at the altar. And Quinn and Carter ride off into the sunset, and they're deeply and madly in love. Yes, at least for the moment. All's well, all's well that ends well, at least like you said, for the moment. Yes. All right, so the other main storyline, Terry, is the Finn story. This is getting interesting as well. Yeah. Uh, Sheila is now taking care of uh, Finn, since Lee is out of the picture. Um and it's still at that undisclosed location. Mm -hmm. So Sheila, uh, this part's funny. She ends up calling upon her corrections officer friend that helped her that helped her bust out of jail. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mike, there's Ken? Mike, there you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, is there a hint here, Terry? I've been meaning, I want to ask you this. Is there a hint here of a past romantic relationship? Did you get that out of their conversation? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. She's she's played him a lot oh, often in the past. Yeah. 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 I I didn't really remember him. And then when they had a couple of flashbacks, it was like, oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's when I put it all together as well. Yeah. That he did he was the same guy. And it's been, you know, when they do the flashbacks, it's been quite a few, you know, he looks very different. Yes, he does. Yeah, yeah, he's aged. Anyway, so <laughs> while he's there, uh, Finn ends up coding. He ends up dying uh, mm -hmm. in the you know with all the stuff hooked up to him in the room, and Sheila, yeah, uh, uh, the security guy ends up telling her, "Don't do it! Don't do it!" She ends up paddling him with electric paddles and uh, shocks his heart to bring him back to life. Yeah. And you know what was interesting is here they're talk they're laying out everything that she did while Finn is still alive. Yeah, right. And then he dies. Right. And brings it back. It's and I kept thinking he's going to know everything that happened. Yep. And sure enough. Sure but, enough, he does. Yes. Yeah. But that it it was funny how. So then Sheila is able to say, I brought you back to life. Right. That worked for about 10 seconds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So when he comes back to, what's funny is he almost dies, Terry, and then within about a minute or so, all of a sudden he becomes conscious after he's been in a coma yeah. for God knows how long. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that well. <was> fun. <laughs> it's almost like real life. I know that's sometimes I come, I have to come back to reality and it's like, Oh, that's right. This isn't actually real. Is it? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> and neither is Taylor. Oh, no, she... I'm just teasing. You. Well, she's real. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. She's act. Her acting is quite good. Terry. Uh, oh. okay. Oh, well, no. Do you have a difference of opinion here? She, she's, she's, she's pretty good. But I will make a side note. Okay. Why, or with a question. Okay. Why is she always eating grapes? Ooh, that's a good question. I didn't notice that, actually. Uh, seriously? I don't oh know that gosh. I did. With my Every trained detective skills. Like... I think I might have been distracted. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's interesting. You, yeah. you you do good with that, though. You're super observant. I try. All right. Okay. So that, that is a good question. Um, now I'm going to have to pay mm -hmm. attention to that, too. Okay. All right. So when Finn comes back to consciousness, um, he starts to re recall pretty quickly after she kind of, Sheila kind of asks him, do you remember what happened to you? You know, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, he he verbalizes that he remembers it comes to him like I said kind of quickly uh, yeah. that Sheila shot him, 
And shortly after that, he recalls uh, that Sheila also shot Steffi. Mm -hmm. So that was interesting. What did you think? Uh, question for you. What did you think about the... They do a really good job with makeup on his coloring because he looks like he's close to death. Right? Yeah, I, it, he did. I thought they did a really good job. And I, that that kind of jewelry ick around his mouth. Right. I don't... I did that, see that. That looked real. It did. Because if, if you're not caring for the person the way you should, that's right. going to... The dehydration and all that. Yeah. Right? So, mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, that, was, that was good. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> Sheila kind of loses her cool with, with Finn yeah. at this point. And yeah. he's a good actor because if you look at his his acting in the scene, is is pretty believable. Mm -hmm. um, I Yes. I thought there was great emotion in his eyes. Yeah, good. Yeah. I, I, I did too. I thought, good job. Yeah. So uh, at this point, he pretty much realizes that Sheila's crazy. I think for the first time, he was that trying. That shit crazy. Yeah. He was always kind of uh, cautiously optimistic that maybe she's mm -hmm. not. But yes. now he realizes, you're right, she, you're right she's oh. batshit crazy. Yes. Um, so that's kind of how we left it today. So it, it's it's good. These two storylines are damn good. Yeah, they are. I I'm digging this. They've yeah. they've done a great job. Yeah, writers are doing well. Mm -hmm. uh, they're listening to us, Terry. Yeah, that's on the soap it. dish. <laughs> All right, let's move into predictions. Okay. Would you like wanna, to start, or shall I? Uh, why don't you start first? Okay, I have two predictions that I'm going to bring today. One is Lee is not dead. In fact, I kind of expected her to pop back in uh, when he coded, when he died, when Finn did the other day. Oh, yeah. I, I thought she was going to come through the door at that point, but she didn't. Um, but I do believe she's going to make an appearance here shortly. So that's one prediction. Okay, okay I, I lost, lost the hearing, the hearing for, you. for you. So... so how about now? Is it back? Yeah, yes. Okay. All right, so did you catch that back last part, or should I repeat? Please repeat it. Okay, so I thought she was going to storm in when he coded. I think you heard that. Yes. Um, uh, I, I do. The, the only other comment I had is that I think she's coming back soon. Okay. She's going to make an appearance. All right. All right, so then my other uh, prediction is going to be Eric Forrester. Uh, and for those that uh, don't want to, it might be a spoiler. So if somebody doesn't want to hear it, cover your ears. I don't know if it's true or not, but the research department did find some rumors of oh. that Eric and his pickleball is going to catch up to him here. and He's going to have a big one. And that oh. he might be leaving the show. But again, that's just a rumor. Wow. I can't substantiate that that's true, so I'm not going to state that it's actually going to happen, but there's rumors out there about that. That's sexy. Yeah, I Is think he, so. Yes. Well, he's been there forever. That's, wow. Okay. Yeah. Him and, right. well, you and I have talked about this in the past, but him and Brooke are the, the, two of the original cast members. Yes. Yeah. So, Impressive. She She's held up well. She has. But I could yeah. see, I could see where Eric would be, you know, at some point here, maybe he wants out, right? Oh yeah, I I would if I were him. He's yeah, he's done sitting pretty. Time. He doesn't need to be there anymore and go through all that stuff. Um, but Terry, okay. maybe he enjoys the scenes with Donna. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a thought. It's <laughs> a pretty good thought. It's not a bad, go. not a bad gig if you can get it. <laughs> exactly. All right, your um, turn. All right, so I'm with you on Lee being alive. Ooh, I do okay. think she's alive. And one of the reasons is because I keep thinking, why has no one seen this fiery crash or wondered where the, you know, what, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. So right. the only one that saw the fiery crash apparently was Sheila because there's been nothing about it. But. Anyway, so, but I think that um, with Jack 
back in the in the show, he is. I think he's going to find out where Lee was staying. Ooh. And. I don't exactly know what's going to happen, but I think he's going to um, get there and confront Sheila, and he's going to be trying to kill her when Lee shows up. Ooh, I like that. I That's really sexy. But I thought that just that I like that sounds yeah. So, but that that's that, and the other thing is. I think along the lines of Eric and Donna, my thoughts were that Eric's not going to be feeling it as much uh, because he, he's not cheating. Cheat, not cheating. There's some excitement in, yeah. in the cheating aspect. Mm -hmm. And, that you know, psychologically they say that is true with some people. Yeah. So it's going to be, it'll fizzle. Oh. Pickleball will fizzle. That was good, Terry. Is that it? That's all I got. <laughs> all right, that's good. I like it. All right. All right, Terry. Until we uh, dish again. Oh, keep it sudsy. And we're out. <laughs>